Well, as we told you earlier in the show, Defiance Baseball led 2 to nothing in the first inning against Salina today when their sectional final had to be suspended due to rain. They'll continue the game tomorrow. Senior Shea Smitty will be on the mound for the Bulldogs, looking to improve his record to 7-0. and No one has been able to do much against the Ace this season. His ERA is under one, allowing just four earned runs in 52 and two-thirds innings pitched. This week's OIO Prep Profile highlights Shea's quest for a return trip to Columbus, where he's already made great memories winning basketball and baseball state titles in 2015. Plus, when it comes out, I mean, some people don't even get to make it down there once. I've been fortunate enough to win twice. Learning the ropes from the seniors before, learning leadership, and just coming up through them. I mean, they're really what, them and the coaches and the alumni are what really make the program special. Defiance baseball is rich with a tradition of success, especially on the mound. And as a young kid, Shea was inspired to make his mark on the program. I've always looked up to the great pitchers of Defiance, like Anthony Kitson, Dace Kime. John East, Chad Billings, and all that. I mean, you really want to mimic what they do. But, I mean, I knew mechanics was big when I was younger, coming to all the Coach Held's camps and all that. And once I got up here, just getting stronger, working out in the summer and all that, I mean, that's really what made the big jump for me. You know, obviously, success breeds success. And they see these young guys coming up. They see other guys that have gone on and be able to pitch at a high level. And, and uh, that, you know, that's kind of takes care of itself. Strike three called on the outside corner. You know, what makes Shea uh, so good on the mound is, is uh, he can actually get all three pitches across, his fastball, his breaking ball, and his changeup. And very few high school guys can do that. And, and actually, we've had very few ever at Defiance have been able to do that. We've had some guys that threw harder. We've had guys that had as good a breaking balls or better. And we have, we've had uh, some guys that maybe were fastball changeups, but never all three like shape. With pitching comes pressure, but Spitty's unique skill set also gives him a mental edge. What helps me is just confidence in what I throw um, and knowing my defense has my back no matter what. I mean, Physical mistakes are going to happen, but just having confidence in my defense and just being able to throw my pitches and confidence in my catcher. After high school, like a couple of Defiance pitchers before him, Shea will continue his pitching career at Louisville. Because of Anthony and Dace, I always looked up to them. I mean, I had a pretty good idea of where I wanted to go. I mean, really focusing hard on Louisville, but just going down there, I'm excited. I go down early, this, early in the summer, getting school done, and then just watching them on TV, making runs at the College World Series and all that, I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, I'm really excited to go down there and get to work. He's going to have to get stronger. His velocity is going to have to improve, but he has a high ceiling. He's 6'5", he's lanky, he's going to get a lot stronger, and he really hasn't done any strength training in high school. In defiance, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.